Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do very loose, kind of abstract floral watercolors. So let's do it! Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, I have my Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolors, and I have my Princeton Snap Brush. I'm going to be using a size 16 today, it's my largest brush my largest brush um, and I'm going to be using the large brush because I'm going to be doing big florals and I have a bigger paper than I usually work on. I think this is around an 8 by 10 and I usually work on a 5 by 7. Okay, so the florals I'm going to show you today are a bit more abstract and loose um, than I usually do, but this is a lot of fun, this way to do it and I feel like there's a lot more room to not make mistakes, but to just kind of be more free with it. And we're gonna be using a lot of color bleeds and different shades of each color. We're gonna use light shades and dark shades, and it's gonna create a really nice kind of abstract, loose watercolor piece. So I'm gonna be using my favorite floral color, which is pink and this purple. So I'm just gonna mix it right here. And I'm gonna start off with a light wash. So there's quite a bit of water on my brush right now, but I'm using a bigger brush and a bigger paper so I can use more water. So I'm just gonna start by doing small curves in a circle. And then as I get to the outer part of the flower, I'm gonna be making bigger curves. So smaller curves in the middle, bigger curves on the outside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my color and I'm gonna tap in the middle. I'm gonna make sure it's bright and dark. I really want it to be nice and bright. I want it to stand out. So you don't want too much water where it's gonna pool. Right in the middle here, I have a bit too much water. Um, I can let it dry like that, or I can just take a bit of it up and then go back in with just the color. Maybe I'll go in with just the purple and make it a bit darker towards the center. Touch some parts of the outer petals. This is more of a rose like that. And then I'm going to do another one over here. So I'm actually going to start off with my darker color. And as I work my way around, I'm going to just add more water, make the petals bigger. I'm going to touch this flower. And I'm going to go back into my pink and touch the middle. get that darkness going. Basically you're just, oops, I had some blue on my cup. Oh well, it's all good. But basically you're just creating large curves. Oh, where is this blue coming from? <laughs> There's blue on my brush somewhere. It's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some greenery because um, I want it to bleed into the flower, but I'm gonna make kind of like a, a bluish green color. So I'm gonna take my bright green here. I'm gonna take some dark purple like that and just put a bit more water and I'm just going to Start creating leaves and lightly just touching parts of the flower so they bleed into each other. Now I'm going to put more water on my brush so it's a really light wash. I'm just going to create really light leaves of the same color, but it'll be a nice contrast. 
<clears throat> put some up here. It looks really nice when you have really light leaves and then really dark leaves. It just kind of adds a really pretty um, contrast to it. I think I already said that. Sorry. <laughs> And then go back in with my darker color again. Have a dark one right next to it. But I love the way the purple kind of bleeds into it. It looks really nice. Okay, I'm gonna do another flower over here. I'm gonna do one more of a side view. Go back in with my color. Touch parts of this flower. Just creating curves. That's the trick to this painting. Lots and lots of curves. Lots of color bleeds. And just be really loose and just try different things. thing I love about this style is you can't really mess it up too much like because it's so loose there's wiggle room to make mistakes I'm just gonna go back into some of these just make it a little darker as long as it's still wet which it is if it was dry it would just be another layer on top and it won't blend so make sure it's still wet before you do that So yes, one of my favorite colors for greenery is using a dark purple and a green. I love the way this looks together with pink florals. I'm just going to create more light ones down here and then later I'm going to go over top of it with probably an indigo and more of this dark green. But yeah, try and create blends between dark and light uh, leaves. So we have light leaves here, put a dark one right next to it, just kind of makes them stand out, it looks really cool. And now what I might do is I even might even go with my sap green. Whoops, that was really wet. That's okay. I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> Another really nice color to go with it. Going back in and adding some dark parts where the sap green is. <clears throat> and then I'm going to wait for parts of all of this to dry. And I'm going to do, actually, hold on, that's still a little wet. I'm going to do some 
indigo, like dark navy leaves too. I think that's a nice contrast. I'm gonna mix it with the green that I already had there. Kind of putting leaves wherever you think they might look good. I'm gonna tap some of the indigo color. To some of the wet parts. some greenery behind here. And then just really light, 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 light leaves here. Like that. And there is your loose kind of abstract watercolor floral tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye.